glamorous life of a stay-at-home mom. So easy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought it would be fun to share with you all um, why I'm a stay-at-home mom, what made us decide that that was pretty much the best decision for us and our family right now, and how my life has changed, the good, the bad, the ugly, all the, all, all the, all the stuff. So if you don't know, I am 35 years old. My husband is 46 years old. We waited our entire lives basically to meet each other, to start a family and all that good stuff. <laughs> We've been together going on eight years, eight years this Christmas, and we've been married five years, I think it is, five. Yeah, I wanna say five. <laughs> and um, it took us nearly three years to have a baby. We have a baby girl who is 13 months old, and then I am pregnant with my second, our second, um, 22 weeks pregnant. Both are via IVF, um, took about three years and then I jumped into IVF and very thankful that it worked for us. So a lot went into this decision. We really sat down and like really spoke about this. My previous career was retail management, way before. I was in retail for many, many years. Um, I was working it when I met my husband, got engaged, started trying to get pregnant, all that good stuff. In retail, I basically was working all the time. It's like you're on call all the time, holidays, everything. And when we started trying to have a family, I kind of spoke to Angelo about this. Now he already works a lot too with his actual like nine to five job, but it's really a two to 10 job. And then he has this contracting business during the day. So anyways, he's, he's overloaded. <laughs> um, we, I kind of spoke to him and I said, I don't want to be working holidays. I don't want to be all this. If we're going to have a family, like that's, that's just not the quality of life that I want. It's doable. It happens. It's not what I want. So I decided to go for my other passion, which was real estate. I had always wanted to get into real estate, loved it. And I convinced Angelo because I was like, you could do a flexible schedule. I can work when I want. I could be home with the baby. I could go to work. I just, whatever, right? Wrong. <laughs> I did it for a few years. Um, I was very grateful that I was in real estate when I started IVF because that's like a whole other, it's like a full-time job just to get pregnant with IVF because all the doctor's appointments, all the medicine, you have days when the medicine kind of hits you differently and you just like, I, I was like, how would I call in sick to a job? At least today I know that I have a free day without clients or I could shuffle clients around and just make it work for me, right? So did real estate, literally worked all throughout the first few months that my daughter was born. Easy, emailing and everything else. Going and showing homes was so difficult for me. Now, I know so many moms who do it who are very successful. I was still brand new in the business. I was only a couple of years in. So my client base and everything else, I was basically doing open houses up until I was 38 weeks pregnant, which is funny because she was eight days late, she ended up being, but up until 38 weeks pregnant, I was doing open houses every Saturday, Sunday. I was at the office probably five, six days a week, um, just working. And a lot of that work was free because it's learning, it's getting immersed into the market. It's, it's just so much. So I wasn't having a guaranteed paycheck. I was chasing money, chasing money. So when I had Angelina and I kind of lost a few clients in the beginning, which kind of stunk, but I get it. Like you're afraid you think I'm not going to have the time for you. And you know what? It was really hard to shuffle my time. I, re I already had a slim, slim, slim amount of time for my husband because he works so much. I had an even smaller amount of time for myself. And then here I have this brand new baby that, like I said, my husband works all the time. I'm saying 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. I am talking about we came home from the hospital from having my daughter on Sunday and Monday he went back to a huge bathroom demo job that he had to be at. Like I was like left alone with a four day old baby but he had to do this. Like he had jobs lined up and things that it just needed to happen. So long story short, um, I went on for a few months <laughs> just back and forth, trying to shuffle clients, trying to only see them on weekends because that was the only time I could get Angelo to actually be off Saturday, Sunday, which usually he would work Monday through Saturday. Um, it wasn't fair to him, it wasn't fair to me, it wasn't fair to our daughter. We literally had a few hours a day on Sunday, every Sunday together. That was it. 
that was it. Like every now and then he would have a pocket of time, like come home for like an hour or something in between jobs and stuff, but that really was it. And we just realized like, we like this isn't the way that we wanted our family to be this isn't what like we envisioned like one of us has to really be full-time with the baby and then as angelina was getting older i can't really just be on my email while she's sleeping right there because now her wake times are more her schedule is a little bit more demanding she's more alert she needs more attention and i'm chasing like i said not guaranteed money and putting my all to my clients that weren't too loyal to me and didn't feel the same in return like they didn't they didn't do that in return to me like they just would up and leave they wouldn't talk to me for a month so i just we, we basically sat down and we realized this is just not going to work out anymore it's not going to work out um my dream was to drop my daughter off at my parents house every single day i guess or a couple of days a week because I was like, okay, I could work three, four days a week and the rest from home, be out with clients, but that's not really the schedule that you can really create in that type of career. You have to be available and ready for your clients almost all the time. Um, I was showing houses at six, seven, eight o'clock at night and my daughter should have been home having a bedtime routine and things like that. She's like five, six months old at the time. So I was like, this is just, this is just not for me. Um, I'm having to worry about, oh my gosh, she didn't take her nap until later. Now am I going to make it to the house showing? I still have to drop her at my parents. Now I'm begging my parents. I'm like, I'm like mom, dad, you got to come here because I got to leave the house in 20 minutes. She just napped. I don't. So it was just too much stress um, being basically a solo mom, not a single mom because wow, single moms, you are like... <laughs> I look up to you so much, but a solo mom where my husband is around, but he's not around. So we really had a big discussion and we just decided, you know what? Um, we really tried for so long to have this baby. We don't want anyone else watching her uh, besides like my parents. And we just like, why not? Why not just figure out sacrifices, make those sacrifices. It's really not a big deal be a little bit more budgeted with our money, our time, our energy, and what we do, and make it work for us, you know? So in January, so I had her May 31st, 2019. In January of 2020, we decided I am not re-signing up with anything. It was like over, I wanna say $1,200 in fees to pay to you know keep my license and everything going. And I was like, <laughs> Do you know how much I have to sell to make that money back? And then your money is not taxed. So you're getting these paychecks and then you still have to pay taxes on it. And wasn't for me, <laughs> wasn't for me. As much as I loved it, I loved my clients. It just was not gonna work out. It wasn't ideal. Also in January, we really had the big decision of where are we going with our family? Like, what are we doing? Like here I had, what was she? Six, seven months old, seven months old, I think almost. And we want more kids, like we're older. Like we waited so long, we tried so hard. We have frozen embryos via the IVF. And I'm like, it's time, it's time. My husband was like, listen, are you sure? She's like seven months old. Do you really wanna put another baby in? So I went for my consults with my IVF clinic. I absolutely adore my doctor. And he was like, you can do it whenever you want. It's up to you. And we did it, <laughs> did another transfer, it worked. And I was like, I'm full on stay at home mom, Angelo. Now you take care of the outside, you go out, you make the money, let me handle the inside. And it was a lot of stress at first, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it took months for me to figure out my routine, um, what works for me, what doesn't work for me, which I think I'll share a video about all that and of how I get things done, how I keep a semi a pretty tidy home how I get laundry done the cooking done everything I do not have help let me reiterate that I do not have help my parents are there for support but they are not here to come and be second parents and raise my children that is my job I am mom so if I'm gonna be a stay-at-home mom I'm gonna take this job real serious okay I'm gonna make sure my kids are excelling at everything they're doing their best they're eating as good as they can I mean I can still give her ice cream sandwiches and cake and stuff like that but they are gonna be as happy healthy 
and loved as they can possibly be because this is my new job. Mom. Stay at home mom. Mom. I'm a mom. So it was crazy because at first I never wanted this. I was so adamant of I will never be a stay-at-home mom. It's so boring. Who the hell wants to stay home every day? I don't want to just cook and clean and everything every day. I want to like, I got to live my life, right? I got to do things. And then I'm like, I don't get my hair done. I haven't gotten my hair done professionally in like 20 years. I could care less. Um, my nails, I would get them done, but it's not like a hit or miss. Pedicure, I could do it myself. It's really not that bad. So like there are certain luxuries that it's not that I cut out of my life for better financial freedom in a way, it's that they just don't mean thing anything to me anymore. It, I mean, shopping, certain things, it, it doesn't excite me anymore. What excites me is this little girl who is napping right now. What excites me is seeing the smile on her face every day, discovering her discovering new things, like me teaching her new things. It's like, oh my God, that is the greatest, like, most amazing reward I could ever think of. Like, it's funny because I talk to a lot of other mom friends, friends, um, strangers, everyone, and they're like, yeah, but you gotta have you time. Like, you gotta get out and have time for yourself. It is so important. And I'm like, listen, I don't think that you guys understand the way that I feel. And these are other IVF moms or moms that maybe got pregnant right away. Like, everyone, just all different ages and all different, um, you know, like journeys of motherhood. So I, I get information from everybody. And I'm like, listen, that might work for you, but I am 24 seven with her. If I could like subcontract out work and have anything in life, I would have a personal chef. Yes, because the cleaning, it's really not that hard. The cooking is so annoying. <laughs> She's 13 months, it's three meals a day, two snacks, constantly, constantly, constantly. Plus we're home because of this whole pandemic COVID junk. And then we had all this upstairs being renovated so we were in a smaller place downstairs. And then we have all this stuff going on outside because my husband is, you know, making it a little paradise for us outside. So it's not even like I could just take her right in the backyard because there's work constantly being done. I can't even take her in the front yard. It's just way too hot. So I'm stuck here by myself 24 seven, <laughs> okay? So it is a lot. Would I change it? Absolutely not. Um, I would have never thought that this would have been my life right now and I'm so happy with it. Like. I feel so fulfilled, the most fulfilled I've ever felt in my entire life. Um, things that I thought I wanted. I thought I wanted, we have to sell this house and get a better house for us. We have to um, have ju just stupid, stupid things that it's like keeping up with the Joneses. I could give a crap less about right now. I wear the same clothes half the time and I'm totally fine with it. And it's not because my husband won't, give me money to shop like you know or I can't just go into the account and like shop it's just that I don't care I don't like things like that don't fulfill me anymore like I said it is all about I want to grow my family we want like three four kids we're older <laughs> things are different I talk to my mother I talk to my mother-in-law I talk to my sister-in-laws it's so different they all had their kids in their 20s I just started a family at like 34 years old. What was I? It was right before my 35th birthday, okay? So, and now I'm gonna be 36 in a couple months and have another baby. So it's like, this is the time. We really thought this is our time for us to have our kids. And then once they're all in school, I would love to work again. I would love to do something like that. I don't know what, but I don't wanna just stay home. Or maybe I will wanna stay home because by then my husband will be retired. Um, also, this is not our forever home. We are not staying in New York forever. This is only gonna last us literally the next seven to eight years, roughly, because my husband retires from his nine to five job in seven years, and he can just be out. So we are heading down south. We don't know where, we don't know what. Uh, I promise you it will be new construction. We're never dealing with another renovation ever again, ever, like that's it. But um, like I said, I wouldn't have it any other way. I think that 
I was one of those people who stereotyped stay-at-home moms and gave them that stigma and I feel really bad about it. And it is hard. It is hard. It is hard also when your partner works so hard to provide who he's always been this way. And now I think she's waking up. I hope she doesn't wake up. So yeah, it is so hard. It is so hard waking up every day and I'm waking up to take care of her and he's waking up to go out to work, to work all day. That I don't know when I'm gonna see him. Usually it's 10 p.m. And that's a long time. And then it's like I do breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, every single bath, cooking, cleaning up, laundry. I do it all. She woke up. Okay, let me go get her. Let me go get her. She needs this nap. Say hello. <laughs> so anyways, this is my life. It revolves around her. And I wouldn't change it for the world. You say hello? She's a little fussy now because she only took an hour nap this morning and this was like maybe an hour nap and that's not the usual routine it's usually like a almost two hour nap in the morning and an hour now so so all you women who are trying to decide whether to be a stay-at-home mom or not don't take my advice because i would say go for it <laughs> i would say enjoy every moment you can with them because this is just i love you mama it's heaven i love you you tired Crazy hair. You say hello? Yeah, look. Say hi, everyone. Can we take your passy out? Do ba do. A do ba do ba do Yeah. Hello. Oh, you see, I have coasters over there. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Time to. Yeah. <laughs> see you in the next video. Bye.